Well, this is where we are. Right there. This is where we are. It's almost 11 o'clock in the morning. Still, what is it, the 11th of June? 41 degrees last night. This is an extraordinary dispersed campsite. We would not have found it had it not been for the recommendation of John Kintop, who is a man we met on the road at a campsite uh, last summer. And uh, John is like us, a man who loves to be out in nature and to camp and uh, find places like this. Apparently this is one of his favorites. He also does some unusual things. He is a night sky uh, guy who likes to take uh, the time-lapse time pictures of the stars. And he has shots that he shared with us last summer um, of the night sky with that profile right there of this uh, stretch of this uh, I think this is the north, what is it, the northwest um, edge of Clotchman Rock, if I pr pronounce it right. Anyway, <clears throat> I was uh, thinking, I've been thinking since last year about, boy, I sure would like to stay at that uh, campsite that he was uh, telling us about with such great enthusiasm. And uh, I realized I still had his email and I uh, dropped him a line, and he responded back uh, quickly with these, with a, an email with these uh, pictures in it, telling me exactly how to get it get here. And uh, we got here with no trouble whatsoever. Um, uh, off of uh, Highway 12. Um, east of Rimrock Lake, um, up Tyaton, um, so, uh, turned on one forest road, turned on another, and uh, angled off and found our, found his camp. And of course, uh, there is also a hike. There's a hike up the scree from the camp up to the, the top at this end of the of the rock um, there's a place to uh, picnic up there and uh, we actually this morning did uh, give it a whirl just to see how far up the scree we could get I don't have my tel telephoto here but the uh, path is there and uh, Benita's knee is um, given her problems at, at her age, she's 74, and uh, we didn't have hiking poles, and uh, nevertheless we just gave it a whirl just to see if uh, what the trail would be like for us, and we got um, oh, two-thirds of the way up there, two-thirds of the way up to the, um, well, not the whole way, <laughs> I guess, a third of the way up elevation-wise before coming back down on our butts, uh, since that seemed to be the easiest and safest way to uh, um, to move on a trail that steep uh, and not having hiking poles. But uh, again, John's a, a wealth of, of information. Um, he spent, I think, last, last year, like a month on the road, if I understand correctly. Um, all over the state, uh, down at the Quinault, um, on the ocean, um, told us about a, a dispersed campsite uh, there, and uh, um, he was over uh, north of Ellensburg, uh, uh, Lions Rock, that's another place that he, uh, well, the road to Lions Rock, one of the told us about uh, a campsite that uh, I'm looking to, to search out uh, here uh, this summer as well. So 
Anyway, John, thank you so much for your fine recommendation. Uh, look forward to <laughs> learning of any other discoveries that you may come across uh, in your travels this year, last year. Um, this is a wealth of information there. Anyway, uh, and um, you want to see a profile of John? Go to my wife's Facebook page. Uh, her Facebook page has as the the banner photo a picture of John and I at this uh, campsite um, at um, on the Beehive uh, Road um, uh, up in Kittitas County. Uh, that's where uh, he stopped by and uh, we invited him to coffee and we uh, compared notes and, and visited for a bit. Um, anyway, so, and that's a, it's a great photo, by the way, so check it out. <laughs> that's a favorite camp spot of ours, that spot there in the, on the beehive. Anyway, this is the Little Rock. That's the Big Rock. This is Benita finishing up on cooking. And this is the ultimate outdoor fireplace, wouldn't you say? Wouldn't you say? Still a little bit of flame left. But uh, when it's windy, um, this is a place you can still have a fire and not worry about setting the forest on fire because it is surrounded by rock and uh, it uh, protects from the wind. Uh, really uh, exquisite uh, spot for a fire. And again, that mess over there, that's what a tent looks like when you forget to uh, bring the, the roof part. Uh, long story, sad story, sad looking tent. But we made it through the night uh, with no difficulty, and it's just all a part of camping. Anyway, talk to you soon.